Hi guys, welcome back to our uh, final discussion video of the year. Yup, in this decade. <laughs> Obviously you know us on our deduction, so... Anyway... If you haven't seen the previous part, be sure to look um, above Ethan for uh, the first part where we introduce ourselves, obviously. Real quick, I am Music Clues, and this is Ethan N. Yes. Uh, so, uh, yeah. But continuing our discussion from previously, we uh, just talked about Nintendo and the beginning of the decade and how we got introduced into some game series. Yes. So, now it's time to talk about two other companies that helped helped us introduce. Uh, yes. One we have a little bit of roots with. Um, and we will discuss more about that company, but I don't want to go into a full fan debate, so we'll save that debate for a later video. This is just plainly about, about what, what games we were exposed to. Yeah. Uh, but, um, another company that me and Ethan were kind of skeptical on diving into. So, back, uh, but, uh, yeah, so, you probably didn't know this, but back in the day, me and Ethan were hardcore Nintendo fanboys. Yeah. So, honestly... Okay, before I met MC here, let's say my part of the side story, let's say I used to be, you know, like a hardcore Sony Sony player, you can say. Yeah, until Ethan's interest in Nintendo started to take over more, and then he lost interest in Sony and started to play more Nintendo systems. Yeah, and of course I did play PlayStation Portable way before I got that Nintendo DS. Yeah, so uh, definitely, uh, definitely a little bit of backstory in that. But complete around you, I want to say the beginning of the Switch era. I want to say. Yeah, you, we could say that. Um, even got into a actually, I think I would say the year of the Switch Switch era. Even got into uh and returned to his roots on PlayStation Four thanks to one specific game. Yes, and that one game specifically. And that was thanks to one of the friends that I I talked to I I used to talk to on Twitter, introduced me to this series and introduced me to this game. So I looked into it and then I was like, "Wow, that's a good game. It's Persona Five. Obviously, a lot of you guys by this point should know what Persona Five is. <laughs> I don't think we need to need to explain it anymore. But basically, 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 for those who don't know, this is a series spinoff even though it seems main series, of the Simigachi Tensei series. Yup. Uh, so this was Ethan's very first Persona game. Get yes, and not only the first Persona game, it was actually my first PlayStation 4 game. It was thanks to that game that Ethan got into Persona uh, even more and back into PlayStation, so you can thank uh, play, uh, Persona 5 for that, Sony. And it even reminds me, back like a little bit, it reminds me of one certain game series, Sly Cooper helped me into that. So, um, yeah. Uh, but I'll let Ethan discuss this more since he got more into PlayStation 4 than yours, Julie. Yeah, so let's just say, let's say the reason why I say it, it reminds me a little bit of, like, a Sly Cooper roots for me, because there are some art style or even ways, like, you're jumping around the areas as Joker in Persona 5. No, 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 no. We're not talking about DC from Joker. We're not all talking about Batman Joker. No, 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 no. We're talking about Joker that is in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate from Persona 5. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Exactly. That's one of Ethan's top favorite characters so far in the Persona series. Yes. And um, and one thing, though, of course, that's actually my first, also first game I actually beat in on this system, too. And it took me almost, I had to say maybe up to two weeks or something to beat the game. And I'll tell you, oh, man, that game was really long. And I enjoyed it. I think it took you more than that. I believe two months, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. That's right, that's right. Two, two, two months, actually. <laughs> uh, I have a number that one clearly, because I was around the time that Crash Bandicoot's reignited. Uh, uh, sorry, that's final. Insane trilogy. Thank it, you. It, it's okay, man. It's okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, so we used to hear him spy on uh, But, uh, anyways, ways. So, yeah, um, uh, that was Ethan's very first game on PlayStation. I'll let Ethan continue. Alright, so once I got done playing Persona 5, um, 
I remember I got more games on it, but I forget. I don't remember what several more games I got. Like, I thought I remember I got Full Honor after that. Full Honor was a Ubisoft series, but it's actually that's that's, a, that's actually its own IP. I don't know if it still kept going, but I do know this: that is a one unique um, online games that I used to play a lot. But then I started to lose interest playing it because you know me. I have trouble playing a lot of online games. It's a true fact. That act the uh, reason why Ethan lost interest in Overwatch so fast. Um, but yeah, one of the other games he did play on there that he has memories of is uh, the Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy, as Ethan just mentioned. Yes, and I did. As a fact, I did play Crash Three, PlayStation Original, on the PlayStation Two system. But uh, Ethan's never never played the other two before then. So, if you want his quick opinion, first one. Nope. Thanks to the sun levels, like in the bridge levels. Ah, I guess I can see why people say this is like Dark Souls platformer game. Ethan's never wanted to go through that again. <laughs> uh, se uh, second one. And the third one, that's obvious. So, yeah, that's his quick opinion on it. Uh, but Clash 1, 2, and 3, um, speaking of Clash 1, it is available on his channel, channel to see Ethan beat the game. Oh, yeah. And do not worry, I actually did a live stream doing it. And I'll tell you then, the final boss, like, it was a Dr. Cortex. Jeez. Is that tough? Well, I would since I wouldn't say it's tougher than the, some of the RPG games I played. But probably the toughest platform in his face. Yeah, 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 we can say that. Sure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, definitely one of the games that uh, Ethan really likes to check. Uh, really lo loved. Now, of course, this is ho uh, PlayStation is home to a lot of fighting games, games like most platform, uh, like most platforms, and this one is no exception. Uh, however, it was thanks to the Xbox 360 that we get got into a particular series that we're gonna that I'm gonna mention later when we get on to my exposure. Oh yeah. But um, a couple other games that Ethan did play that we can't talk about are, uh, like, for example, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Oh, jeez. I'll tell you this, though. That is definitely one of my biggest regrets purchase I ever remembered. Just to put it up for why Ethan regrets it, he spent over $200 on the collector's edition. Because I thought it's going to be a good fighting game, but then I found out it wasn't that good. I didn't know it wasn't that good. Okay, at least I would say one game I would still need to give it a try is Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Yeah, uh, but from what I have play, played personally, because it was on Game Pass, uh, it's a great game. Definitely better than the Infinite, right? Oh yeah, that's my favorite, because I saw the gameplay. It does look better. Uh, so definitely check that one out instead of Infinite. Personal opinion. Yep. Uh, but the one that me and Ethan are kicking ourselves over that we should have been hyped about was Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Mmm, yeah. That was at the time that... Okay, so let's just say... Let's say I used to love Dragon Ball series way back in the day, like middle school or something, I would say. That was before, that was before I met MC here. So I started losing interest in that too. But thanks to that game, I gone back in... Know the series again. Exactly, exactly. That's what led Ethan to watch Super, and that's what led Ethan to our anime showdown. Which, by the way, if you haven't heard about our anime showdown, as of this video, me and Ethan are currently watching um, well, our third part, first part of our bet. All of uh, what half of One Piece. I watch the classic, Ethan watches the modern. You, yep. you can read more details in the video above Ethan's head, head that will explain everything more about our bet. Yep, which is by either t tomorrow or, or whatever day it's coming. Yep. Uh, so, yeah. But um, anyways, either way, uh, either way, uh, continuing on, Dragon Ball Fire C was also my very first exposure to the Dragon Ball series, so it was thanks to that game that I actually got a lot less skeptical to 
you know, hate Goku if you haven't gotten to Super Smash Brothers. Not like that's ever gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, now you can see why Goku is a, one of the best anime characters that everybody knows. Of course, some people out there are like, I had a friend who was actually not a huge fan of the Dragon Ball series because it's so overrated. But for me, I still like the series. It's just that now up to this video, I'm still into anime. It's just that now, I think I got a new fair anime coming my way. So, I'll, don't worry, don't worry. It's going to be later. Uh, yeah, we'll discuss that a little bit later. Um, but um, anyways, continuing on. So, let me see. What else did you get exposed to? Hmm... Of course, on the PlayStation 4 or Xbox. Um, uh, PlayStation, oh, yeah. I know another game that you got exposed to on the PlayStation 4. For, uh, the God of War series. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's say uh, the God of War uh, the series. I'll still have to get a try. But let's say on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 version, which is came out last year. Or if it comes out tomorrow, I'd say two years. <laughs> uh, well, maybe not because... Because it came out in April, I thought. So, anyway, yes. So, let's say that game was one of the good games that I played, really. And honestly, I was looking at back in the, looking at gameplay of, not gameplay and cutscenes from the original God Wars, which is three trilogies. And I'm not a huge fan of them. So, I prefer the reboot version because the reboot doesn't seem to look that or even you get the what I mean, guys. Now nah, you're probably gonna say, then why does he? Why did he even get more combat? No, it's because I got exposed to it. Okay, I just got exposed to like some kind of like mechanics and or even the characters' looks. Okay, there's something about it that got me exposed. Okay, so got even a little slack on that one. Uh, but yeah, got a what? 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 I'm not a big personal fan of. That might just be my anti-modern-day Sony bias working, but cut me a little slack, guys. I will say one IP that is good, though, is The License of Dawn. Yep, what I played, and it was a good, good series. Hopefully, we'll get a sequel of it, of course. It might happen, but um, yes. And that company who made a good game was, was it Gorilla Games, something like that? These guys did a great job. Yep. Uh, of course, there's several other games that you can play third party wise, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, but um, other than that, uh, that's pretty much all the major hi highlights um, that I can mention. So while Aoife was getting more in depth into the PlayStation 4, for going back to his roots, I got exposed into the Xbox branch of things because of my roots as a PC gamer, gamer, because Fun fact, growing up, in addition to getting into Nintendo, I also played a lot of PC games. Whole boatload. <laughs> in fact, some of them are actually on my uh, favorite games of all time list. So, um, yeah, if you haven't checked that out, if I haven't posted it yet, yeah, then it's coming. Um, but, uh, yeah, one of my favorite, uh, one of my, uh, uh, one of the things that I got exposed to first was the Xbox 360. And the first game I played on there, well, two games that we got exposed to series-wise. We got exposed to the Soul Calibur series. Yep, one of and, the best series. And Street Fighter. Yes, Street Fighter, of course. I know Tekken way back in the past, but now these days with Tekken, after six... Yeah, not so good in defense opinion. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, guys, but I know Tekken series no better than some of you guys, okay? You know, if you guys are new to it and you like it, okay, good for you, good for you. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. If you like it, that's okay. Just don't say, hey, the con, just give me another chance. Guys, I played it. Hello? Something about the game, story, that's obvious. And the arcade is almost one of those disappointments I've seen. Yeah. And, by the way, he was referring to Tekken 7, in case you were curious. Yup. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, going back to... The, oh, so the first game we played out of those two was Street Fighter. Gotta say, Street Fighter 4 was the first game that we ever played, and to this date, we have played all Street Fighter games. Yep. 
Well, at least in terms of the main series and some of the popular spin-offs. Uh, we haven't played every single Street Fighter game yet, but we're working on it. <laughs> yeah, but I do know one thing, though, we, we could both say. I know my favorite Street Fighter game I know is Street Fighter V. Uh, five is uh, tied with four, in my personal opinion, when I think about it, but I think I like five a little bit more. Just fine with me, of course. Uh, but yeah. For those who don't know, we have a new version coming out, and that's the Champion Edition, which will include all previously released DLC, including some new stuff coming. Um, and then we have some new DLC, see, uh, uh, for the game. Uh, uh, we have some uh, previous DLC that added so much kit, so many old characters from the previous uh, from the previous installments that it's little, you could literally say it's kind of like uh, Street, uh, Street Fighter's version of Smash Ultimate. Right. Um. But yeah. Even regardless, though, I will say this. Definitely check it out if you haven't. If you want our opinion, since we played all main series Street Fighters, Fighters plus Alpha One. Because we're not a huge fan of the classics. Okay, now three is a little complicated for Ethan here. Ethan doesn't mind the original three or the second one, one which is uh, Second Impact, but Third Strike Ethan hates. Well, that was because of the music. Okay, that's because of the music. And then and it got more complicated. And then now, I like it. I even replayed it a couple of times. I'd give it another chance, even if I played two versions already. Even likes the original Second Impact better than First Strike. Yup. Let's just say that, because the mid theme of the music. Ah. Like, why would somebody have come up with that? That's Eva's opinion, not, uh, not yours. If you disagree, that's totally fine. Uh. Fourth one, right here, love it. Oh yeah, good game. Fifth, obviously we just said. Uh, and Alpha Series 1, 2, and 3, I think I like 3 the best. I'm a candy need, so I'm a little biased on that. I mean, I liked, uh, I definitely like Alpha Series myself, or even like, I thought Charlie Nash, he was one of my favorite characters, he is actually one of my favorite characters in Street Fighter, thanks to Street Fighter Five. And I found out where he comes from. So I think it was all Alpha series he was in. Of course, on his Blatt story. I can't believe he passed away on that and that one of those games. There, there, buddy, there, there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the other series we played is Soul Calibur. Now, for those who don't know, we have not played the first installment and the third installment as of this video. But we have played most of the major uh, majority of our, um, so real quick, going on the line. Uh, Soul Calibur 1, Soul Calibur 2. Oh yeah, great one. On the GameCube, that's my recommendation. <laughs> not the other two, because the other two are just... Nah. That's fair, and Ethan's opinion. Uh, we have yet to play Soul Calibur 3 because it's... And we heard that that's a, that's a fan's favorite game. We gotta see why. Yeah, it's PlayStation 2 exclusive. <sighs> Man, what I would do for a remake. You know, you know what they should do is just, re just do like a remaster for the modern systems, but I don't know they're gonna do it. That's up to buy that info, unfortunately. Uh, Soul Calibur f uh, 4... But despite the Star Killer thing. Uh, yeah, what if, if you play the arcade mode, Star Killer from Star Wars. Which is Star Wars Force Awake Force Unleashed, I mean. Uh Warning He is not a kickwalk, even on easy mode. Oh yeah. <laughs> Trust me, me and Ethan have faced him several times. Ooh. Probably the hardest arcade bo one of the hardest arcade boss we've ever faced. Right up there with Seth from Street Fighter 4. Oh, yeah. And Seth was pretty tough. <laughs> uh, and then Street Fighter 5. We don't talk about Street, uh, uh, Soul Calibur 5. Yes. Soul Calibur 5, of course. We don't want to talk about that. 
and I took out a six. Oh, that's a great Soul Calibur game. We played to date. Best Soul Calibur ever. <laughs> or even with Arcade. Oh, you outbeaten Tekken 7, baby. <laughs> and that's a compliment coming from me, then. <laughs> so, yeah, it, if it went for the Xbox 360, we wouldn't have been exposed to that. So, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of things we haven't got. We got exposed and we're for all those systems. So, um, then when I got my Xbox One for Christmas, uh, I got Forza Horizon 4. Now, uh, now, uh, Forza Horizon 3, pardon. Uh, now, originally I was going to give that code away that came with my system, but I said, mm, I'll give it a while. Maybe it would actually be good. Uh, and turns out that I actually ended up liking the game. So, and it's actually a very fun game. And now he loves the Force Horizon series, not the Forza Motorsports, Forza Horizon series. Uh, yeah, Forza Horizon and Forza Motorsport. Motorsport is like most racing simulators. Horizon is a different take on that, and it's more of an open world style game. That's that's one of the series that I know from MC. He loves the most of the series I'm from Microsoft. Definitely one of my top recommendations. Another game that I got exposed and is a big fit, and as we know, one of our, uh, our leader, who by the way has returned, um, uh, is a big fan of, uh, is Sea of Thieves. Definitely another game that you should check out. But it's from there. Hold your pitchforks, Banjo Kazooie fan, you'll get your new platform sooner or later. Get rid some time. Yep. Uh, but yeah. So definitely, definitely check out CFEs if you haven't. It's probably one of the best multiplayer player and probably one of the very few pirate games that we have this year. Now it's actually good. Right. Keyword, actually good. Yeah. Um, I'm still trying to get into the Halo series and the Gears series, but from what I've played so far, it's actually pretty decent. Oh, yeah, yeah. So far, um, MC is doing his best to get into the Halo series. Right now, Halo Infinite should be the game that he could good at get into first, I would say. But he, but you did say you play Gears Five, right? And you said you like it so far, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he hasn't been all the way through yet, but eventually, maybe off this side down the road, he could down down the side of the road. And obviously, I'll let you know on Twitter when I do. So. Uh, uh, but, um, yeah. So, uh, now let's get into the big thing you guys are probably curious about, the Sonic series. As you, as you know, as a, uh, with the roots of this channel, and particularly with me as a YouTuber, Sonic goes way, way, way back to the start of music clues, clues, clues. Now, my first game was actually Sonic Heroes, like most Sonic fans, but um, I didn't play all Sonic's games until much, much later. And now I've played every single installment to date in terms of the main series. I still have a whole bunch of spin-offs I need to try, but um, for the time being, I'll give you my main series rundown of what I think of each installment. And Ethan's played a couple of these too, so he can give his opinion. Yeah. So, um, starting from... Uh, Sonic, old, Sonic old 1, right? Sonic One, yes. Sonic One, my personal fa one of my personal favorites of the classics. Oh, one of the good classics I played, and it was actually my first first view game the whole time. If you did not know, exactly. It's from Sega Genesis. Yeah, ironic, ironically, Ethan didn't grow up to be a Sonic fan like me. <laughs> well, because I grew up with that one game that I liked, of course. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't worry. I like other Sonic games. We'll get to there. Yeah, uh, Sonic Two. Nah, I'm kind of mixed on for my my personal opinion. Sonic Three. Mm, I like the music, but I just something about the platform and I can just. Nah. I personally like Sonic and Knuckles better, if I'm gonna be honest. Uh, and Sonic and Knuckles, great. Um, Sonic CD. Now that one's awkwardly placed. So I. How about time choosing whether to say yes or no to it? But I love the music from the Japanese and some from the U.S. Uh, but platforming is absolutely no thank you. Right. Um, now, mo now, mind you, I am not a big classic Sonic player or fan to say. Say, because I kind of suck at most classic games in general, so... That's probably why I don't like as many. But this is one of the differentiating opinions. Now I'm gonna 
skip over Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 just for the sake of not causing any controversy. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure Chris will be flying if I said my opinion on those two. But Sonic Heroes, top number one favorite Sonic game game, if not one of my favorite classic games that I used to play when I was a kid. I used to play that game all the time, and was probably my first true exposure to the Sonic series. Right. Um, now, up to this day, Sonic 06, okay, I'm not gonna lie, the game's glitchy. Yeah, 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 I did try the game, honestly. <sighs> For that, I would like it, but ugh, it's not one of my favorites. I'm sorry. I don't, I respect Eva's opinion, but personally, I think it's still pretty good. Good. If Sega had an it, then yeah, it probably would have been better. But the story, the story couldn't have been saved otherwise. Why? Good gameplay does not always equal a good story. Just so you know. Right. Um, Sonic Unleashed. Oh. oh. Okay, now, this depends. If we're talking the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 versions, no, thank you. I'll tell you this, though. Honestly, that, that game we're talking about is definitely my favorite Sonic game the whole time, if I'm being honest. That's fair. Uh, but uh, the Wii version... The we're talking the Wii. For me. Wii. And, uh, personally for me, too. I don't mind the Xbox 360 version, version of the PlayStation 3 version, but... Uh, gameplay is kind of eh. TLC is absolute garbage, by the way. Oh, yeah. And the final boss is just a headache. Mm -hmm. I personally like to take the Wii final boss over that one. Yup. Uh, so, yeah, just for me to keep in mind. Um, now, Sonic Colors... Colors... Uh, I gotta say, it's great, great, I love it, but sheesh, that final boss is a headache. Ugh. I, I, I thought, and honestly, it's probably the second hardest boss I've faced. Mm. Um, Sonic Generations, I have played. And so do I. And honestly, best Sonic game ever, well, in terms of one of them, at least, for me. Uh, of course, it is top or one of the games I'm trying to constantly speedrun run to get better at, so I can maybe sometimes speedrun it for you guys, but, yeah. Um, either way, though, though I do love it, so, yeah, it, definitely one of my personal favorites. Um, now, of course, we're getting into the more modern stuff. Uh, Sonic Last World. Hmm, I mean, they're trying to do, like, close to, like, Tsumayo Galaxy exploration. A little there and there. But, but I think it ended up being a little too inspired. Uh, of course, we have uh, Sonic Boom, but we're not going to talk about that. I like actually like Sonic Boom, mind you, but I don't want to bring back bad memories. <laughs> uh, besides, I actually like one of the Sonic games in the Boom, but that Boom did get, so I'm not going to say anything. Uh, but moving on to modern Sonic games, we have two more left. Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces. I like Mania for the music, and I guess the platform is okay. Okay, much better than most of the classic Sonic games, honestly. Uh, but other than that, it's fun. And Sonic Forces. Sonic Forces. Personally, I love Sonic Forces more than Mania. Don't hate me. Uh, I will say that the platforming could do with a little bit of improvement. But, and to me, I played it, it was, eh, I'm mixed. But other than that, it's actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good game. Game, in my personal opinion. It's decent. Not the best, not the worst, but definitely decent. Right. Um, now, uh, I will say that nowadays Sega is really trying to bounce back from all that, so I will say that over the years of being a Sonic fan, I've been exposed to other Sega IPs, like Super Monkey Ball, Ball I grew up with, so I'm Space John of Five, um, um, Yakuza. Or even Shimu, right? Yep. So I've been trying to play more Sega games more than just, uh, so more than just Sonic. So I want to thank Sonic for giving me to Sega, <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't know most of them. Or me? I actually played some of the Sega franchises I like, like Fukuya Chronicles. I love that series. That's one of my actually favorite of the Sega series I loved. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Now, where's one and two? I mean, two and three. Mm-hmm. Come on, bring it to the, bring it to like remaster, and then bring it as like English or something. Because I've been dying to try those two. Yeah, for those who don't know, we only have one and four over here. Why Japan? Has... It's two and three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been killing me from the play those games ever since, so patience, buddy. Maybe Sigma will bring it next year. Yup. Fingers crossed. Uh, but yeah, so, um, yeah, that's our history on, um, those, uh, uh, Sony and Microsoft, really. Um, now, honestly, honestly, I'm looking forward to the Xbox One X, but... Me and Ethan are skeptical about the PlayStation 5, and we will explain that in a totally separate video down the road. Yes. Um, but now, we've gone to the last part of this, and aside of video games, you guys know that me and Ethan are two different types of, well, cartoon and anime watchers. I grew up on cartoons, Ethan grew up on anime. But, yes. But we both have been exposed to each other's. So, um, in terms of anime this decade, for Ethan, I'll let him explain. Oh, yeah, I'll explain. Okay, so for this decade, though, how do I explain this? Okay, so back in high school at the time, I did did watch a few animes that, are like, they're, like, in the classics, like, Full Metal Alchemist, Fairy Tale, Soul Eater, not, not Dragon Ball, because I know Dragon Ball so well back then, so I'm talking about the ones that I got exposed back then some of my friends in high school. Um, I do love some of those classics animes, but honestly, there were, there, I just don't know what to pick as my favorite anime at the time. I just like them, that's it. Um, but I'll tell you when I got more exposed to the anime. So I got more exposed thanks to Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and so... I got more exposed to the other animes like um, Attack on Titan, one of the one of the good animes I loved. Um, huh, let's see, there's other animes that I watched back then before I watched My Hero Academia. Well, I'll get to that soon. Okay, so um, I remember there's other animes I did watch like before the My Hero Academia. Sword Online. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sword Online, which is MC Loves and me. Oh, well, actually, he loves the games, but the anime, he's going to hold his breath on. But um, I say that Sword Online was one of the good animes I watched, even though, despite the despite the second part of this first season, don't remind me, though. I'm not going to say what, because I already said this like a couple times at this point. So, but it does have third season, but where is English dub? Stuck on Toonami. That's where. <laughs> Seriously, Asplex, you're going to make me and Ethan are patient, but not that patient. <laughs> we just like that. We just like that, that anime series, okay? <laughs> we just like the voice actors. Come on, give us a chance, please. Well, we'll just have to wait until the dumbest to dub first, bud. True there. Uh, but uh, it's probably going to come to Foundation after it's done on Toonami, which who knows how long that's going to last. Or Crunchyroll, one of the two. Uh, so who knows how long that's going to last, but what? but we got to be patient. But I do know this, though. I do know this. The first anime actually got me exposed even more into other animes. Let's say I'll tell you what anime I'm talking about. What I'm wearing right now is my Deku wristband, as you can see. So, let's get to there, okay? So, on 2018, which is when I first got up to New Jersey, is my first time going the trip by myself. And let's say I got more curious because I saw people talk about this anime so much, and I gotta see why. And so, and so I got my friend, like, his brother introduced me to the anime. I watched a few episodes. And guess what? My reaction to that, I'm like, OMG, it's so good. Okay, I gotta watch more. <laughs> I remember that that time, right back in the day. And now look at me. I'm a I'm a Mayu fan. Thanks to that, 
that's what got me into the anime. <laughs> and now I got more exposed to watching anime up to this modern, modern days. Oh, but, uh, yeah, you done weeping out? Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> As you can tell, tell, I have a little, you get a little annoyed when Ethan weaves out on anime. <laughs> Uh, but all seriousness, though, uh, though I, Ethan, uh, Ethan got me to watch more anime, too. I'm not going to lie. It's actually a pretty good media, uh, media piece, so. You got me, too, too, guys. Guys, but don't expect me to be hardcore like Ethan. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I do know one thing he's sort of hardcore on is, well, besides Dragon Ball, I'm one, I know he's a core a little bit much better than me is Swords Online. That I know. Yeah, but other than that, that's about it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but anyways, continuing on. On, now, for me, um, at the beginning of this decade, I used to watch a lot of cartoons. Now, I'm not gonna lie, uh... <laughs> Coming from someone who uh, lo grew up watching Nickelodeon, uh, PBS Kids, all that, that I dropped out out as soon as I got more invested into video games. So around, I want to say, 2012 is where I started to lose interest in cartoons and started to watch less and less of them, more and more YouTube videos and cartoons, um, YouTube videos and stuff. But um, recently, I dived back into it as early as 2017, I want to say. Started to watch a lot more cartoons, and boy, has the landscape changed since then. Um, um, I haven't watched too many of the modern-day cartoons, but a couple of my favorites recently from Nickelodeon I have watched. Yeah, please, Kushels, mind you. Yes, yes, I know, I'm a 23-year-old uh, adult watching kids' cartoons. Can't do anything about that. <laughs> That's just who I am. Uh, but, um, I've been watching Bubble Guppies, um, for, uh, let me see, um, oh, what's that one? Oh, Paw Patrol, um, and recently they brought back my favorite childhood show, show, Blue's Clues, although it's called Blue's Clues and You now, uh, with a new host named Josh. By the way, he was chosen by Steve for those who are about to get the pitchforks. <laughs> uh, and Steve and Joe themselves are both in the show as well. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I have really enjoyed watching um, um, that one as well. Um, there are a couple cartoons that I'm a little annoyed about. Like, for example, one that ruined my even childhood, Teen Titans Go. That was the best way back in the day. Teen Titans, original, was the best, okay? Was the best. And then until then, Wonder Brothers decided, like, hey, let's go, let's go. And then guess what? Lots of Papa say that I don't like that idea. Okay, guys. Okay, okay. Hold up. There is one recommendation that comes from me, and my friend didn't recommend me, to watch. It's like Teen Titans, but more mature. It's Young Justice. Now that is better than Teen Titans Go! In Ethan's opinion. <laughs> uh, and my personal opinion, too. <laughs> uh, from what I've heard, it seems to be a good good seri series, but I haven't watched, like, maybe that many episodes. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I would highly recommend checking that one out. Now, they also rebooted the Powerpuff Girls, but I've seen footage of that. No, thank you. I'll take classic Powerpuff, and I'm not even a fan of that show. Right. Uh, but yeah, we'll say cla uh, classic Cartoon Network back in the early part of the decade was better than nowadays. I agree. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Now as for Disney, let's say let's say no offense to Disney, but. They you guys kind of messed up with the some remakes, except for two of them, in my personal opinion. For those who don't know, we'll have not been keeping up, and I'd be surprised if you haven't. Uh, Disney has been remaking some of the classic movies from the old days. Oh, yeah. And some of them have turned out good. Yeah, some of them have turned out good, like Jungle Book. I can see why a lot of people loved it. Honestly, it's a good one I can agree with. But, you know, Cinderella, they did Cinderella first, 
right in the, this decade, 2015, I believe. Um, I thought it was okay to me. And then live action the Beauty of the Beast got a total thumbs down for Ethan because. Oh, don't get me started with that one. If you guys love it, good for you. But for me, for some reason they kind of messed up the one little thing, okay? I'm not going to say what, okay? It's a spoiler. <laughs> yeah. What Ethan said. Uh, now, recently they have been making more and have announced more stuff, stuff to be live action. But uh, we're just going to go over the stuff that we know, know that we've seen and that is already out. So, let me see. Start with the previous one. Um, that would be Aladdin. Yes. We can talk about that. Aladdin, from what I've heard, has actually been pretty decent. And for me, I thought it was good, even if though people despite about this actor, Will Smith being genie, I get it, but to me, nah, it doesn't bother me. Actually, I just found that it's more better than the original comes from me. Even if though I'm a little, you know. Yeah. Now, the Lion King on the other hand. Okay, okay. Let's, let's say one thing, though. People, okay, you want, know if I hear people say it's going to be another, like, it's a remake of a legendary Disney movie, to me, that's no legendary Disney movie. I call it a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can tell that probably even is probably one of the very few, and me too, millions of Disney fans that did not want that remake. That's what I say. I don't want to remake of that. Just keep it the way it is. Of course, be resigned. Is he doing it because of grinding money? That's what you want to do. But you can tell that Ethan wasn't happy about it. Oh, no, 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 no. no. There's some things about that movie kind of turn me off, okay? <laughs> and Ethan wanted to see it. And that only have you have to see, though, is Dumbo. I seen it. It was... I actually have a very good strong attachment to Dumbo because I used to watch it as a kid. And I am so skeptical to watch that remake that it's not even funny. Uh, uh, in terms of... And the last one I know of that we've heard of a lot of um, is uh, Lady and the Tramp, which came onto Disney's just recently launched service, Disney+. Plus. Yes, and I saw it myself. And you want to know my opinion about it? Jeez, Disney. What is wrong with you? You can't even make a good remake of the Disney. Okay, okay, okay. This is, this is just me, okay? Let's just say, in the first place, just don't make remakes out of those good classics that people love. It's not worth it, guys. It's not worth it. Uh, I hate to say it, but I don't think Disney's going to listen to that, bud. <laughs> well, okay, fine, fine. If you want to ruin your reputation from this guy, go ahead. Ruin it. <laughs> well, one thing they have ruined is the animation, Mation, which has actually been pretty decent. So far, at least, yes. Well, except for a couple of exceptions. Like Frozen 1, for example... Because of the one particularly song is overplayed. Yeah. Oh, no, no. There's actually more than that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but most of the animation has been pretty solid. I have yet to watch Incredibles 2 and Toy Story 4, uh, but I've heard from Ethan that they're pretty good, so I will definitely check those out when they come out. Yep. Also, uh, recently, as you saw from the reviews from Frozen 2, from this, from this, this, this year, we're recording. Do not worry. This is the recording of that's the day before 2020. Okay, just like so you know, that that Frozen 2, that really surprised us. That's all we're gonna say because we want you to watch the video yourself. So be sure to go ahead and watch it. Watch it, and we'll also explain our upcoming video plans, which we will we explain here. But yeah. So, um, definitely something to look into if you are a fan of, uh, princess movies. Um, I have yet to see some of the other animation Asian that Disney's done over the years, but me and even are going to catch up. I mean, I saw Zootopia, I saw, um, uh, it starts with them, it's, I try to remember that. Milana? Thank you. Uh, there's other ones, but I try to remember which other ones. Um, other than that, I think some modern Disney movies are not that terrible to me. They're not that terrible. 
<laughs> it's just maybe like my not my most favorite some movies of the modern days, but that's just coming from me, okay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, of course, coming from some somebody who's grown up with cartoons, I gotta say that this modern day cartoon tune community has been kind of split. I'm not gonna go into any details because again, cartoon. Richie, that's not the place. This is not the place to be really talk about it. Uh, and as for me, as an anime on the modern days, I look to the community. They are looking hot. Okay, they're not too split. It look like they're doing so hot with some animes like Myogadamia, Demon Slayer. Of course, I don't see a lot of people have bashed on. Of course, of course, I know about Dragon Ball Super though on English dub. Jeez, people have problem with that one civic theme. I was Falter Instinct theme in English. Yeah, honestly, I'm not too bad by it. <laughs> well, to me, eh, I'm staying on that one. <laughs> I'm staying on that discussion. <laughs> Smart uh, cookie. Uh, but yeah, so um, let me see. Oh, gee, we're almost done with this one. Okay, so uh, we're going to do one more small video, video, and I will explain our plans for 2020 uh, for the first half of the year, what's going to be happening. So, yeah. Uh, but that's all for this part of the discussion video. We'll be back with one final part, and uh, that's all for now. Uh, uh, see you in part three.